uh, it took a little while to prepare this sort of a template where we had just like sound of, sound clips that actually made sense when they were played together. This this part is very interesting. I mean. <coughs> Yeah, this uh, getting to know about the huh, getting yeah, to know about the process. it should be strong, no? Like it yeah. can't be yeah, like right now whatever I gave in was a halka pulka man. Like in terms of. Hi, Dada, So I think uh, there was a lot of interesting material on the second uh, walk that we did and uh, that really sort of added to the whole uh, texture of the track that we worked on. So we kind of uh, put together a few hawker sounds and uh, played them together to sort of create this sort of a communication uh, as if on the streets. Uh, so we had like a few... Most interesting one for me uh, was yeah this 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 sound was basically uh, something from the field. Just like sort of random uh, recording on the road, and I found this really one small little hit which uh, sounded a bit like when you. Uh, hit your mouth with a finger, your cheeks, and you get this sort of a very sort of a hip hop uh, influence there. But uh, this is not this is not the normal sound. I don't know where we got this from. When Sovik came up to me and he told me about what he had in mind, I was really excited because uh, there was a lot of uh, field work involved, in going out recording sounds in Bombay. Uh, and trying to fuse that into something more creative, trying to make melodies and rhythms out of uh, organic sounds. So this is a rhythm that we put together as well. I think this we got from uh, uh, we got this from uh, from Juhu uh, at the Chopati. There was there's someone uh, making dosa. We ate a lot just to record sounds that day. And Uh, that was a good sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we were really um, apprehensive initially considering the rains. It's been raining uh, really mad. Um, and um, we were really skeptical about getting the right sounds, especially because even if it's indoors on the street, you'll obviously hear uh, the rain patterns everywhere. And um, we were scared that we, all our sounds will get masked. Um, but so we we actually went on a dummy walk where sound walk where we just sort of recorded uh, whatever conditions just to see how it sounds and what can be done. We actually got some decent sounds out of it. A lot of uh, percussions we got out which we recorded indoors. There's a cycle bell which has been pitched down to sound like that and when I add all the effects to it it sounds completely different, sort of gives that that deep sort of a feeling, sort of nostalgic feeling that we needed in the middle of the song to sort of break the monotony of just uh, uh, elements uh, that we recorded. So yeah, this was a part of like what we did to make it sound the way it sounds. I hope you guys liked our effort and uh, what we did to make it sound this way. Okay, you know what? We can scratch that off. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs>